How you doing, Gus? Sam? Good. How you doing? Great. Good. And how would you assess your play tonight? Um, I thought I played good. Uh, you know, just continuing to go through my progressions and check the ball down when I need to and, and understand when, you know, that internal clock's kind of going off. I think, you know, down in the red zone, when I got sacked, I, I could have gotten rid of it a little bit quicker. Um, but, you know, proud of myself of hanging in there and, and, you know, just taking that sack but continuing to, to be in field goal range, so just not doing anything dumb with the football. Um, just being smart. I think, you know, I'm, I'm proud of myself for just being smart with the football and, and knowing exactly, you know, what the scenario was and um, just trying to execute to the best of my ability. Sam, Todd said well? that in that red zone, on that red zone play you were talking about, that nobody was open. Uh, did, did you think that you had time to just, like, throw it out of the end zone or? Um, I mean, you know, the tight end was sitting right in front of me. I could have grounded it out of his feet or, um, you know, even, you know, it was, you know, he was in between me and the defender, so I, I probably just could have tried to throw it to him, and worse comes to worse, it's batted down. Um, so just getting the ball out of my hand, I think, in that situation and knowing exactly where where the ball needs to go in that situation. Can you the walk us through the interception on the fourth and one? Yeah, fourth and one, ball needs to come out of my hand. Um, I need to... You know, try try to if if no one's there, just try to get it to someone so that they can make a play. Um, so I was just you know um, trying to fit it in there to, to Jermaine, and as I was kind of releasing the football, my, my arm got hit a little bit, which threw the throw off a, a little bit. Um, you know, ball got tipped and picked off. Um, but you know, fourth fourth and one, so I just had to get rid of it. And yeah, it is a turnover, it is an interception. Um, but, you know, it's not the worst thing that could have happened. What were the differences you saw the, tonight kind of starting the game and also going up against the, the starting defense? Probably the defense was a little bit more uh, complicated, I guess, in a way, because it was the yeah. same game. Yeah, I mean, you know, those, those guys definitely gel. Um, you know, they're not, it's not simple defense by any means. Um, they, they brought some pressures. Um, and, you know, it was good for our guys to, to be able to pick that up and, and go for me to see it. So. Um, yeah, it was definitely, you know, being out there um, at the start of the game. Um, there were definitely some different challenges, but, you know, it was, it was football. You know, it's, at the end of the day, it's, it's the same game. Um, guys, our guys were getting open. I was hitting them. We, we drove the ball a couple times, had some good drives, and, you know, just, just couldn't really finish in the red zone, um, which is my fault. And, you know, I, I pride myself on being able to score touchdowns. So, um, you know, that, that's pretty much that. Sam, Sam, you said before the game. Two preseason games. How would you, uh, how would you assess where you're at and what's the next step for you? You've got two under your belt. What do you think the next step is? Yeah, I think, uh, I think when every play is called, um, understanding, you know, worst case scenario, if they bring the house, mm -hmm. where I can go with the football on every single play. Um, I guess in football terms, where my hots are. Um, just understanding where I need to get the ball out if, if they bring one more than we can handle. Um, and then, again, just continue to be, um, just continue to have flow about myself in terms of getting the, getting the play call and being able to spit it out in the huddle, which I thought I did a, you know, a lot better job of um, this game than I did last. So just continue to improve on that. Um, and, you know, just as a whole, just continuing to improve my game. Um, always, every single week, watching the tape and, and getting better, learning from guys like Teddy and Josh. Um, and then JB and Mick do a great job of, of analyzing the tape and then um, seeing where I can get better. Sam, to that end, uh, you mentioned in the run-up to the game that you wanted to get to the line a little bit earlier to serve yeah. the landscape. How do you think you fared in that area tonight? Yeah, I thought I did a lot better job of, of getting to the to the line of scrimmage and you know having some time to analyze the defense and, and go about you know, playing quarterback. So it was fun to be able to you know feel really, really comfortable um, with every single play call. Like I felt like sometimes when JB started to call the play, I knew exactly what play he was going to, which was a good feeling. Um, so it's just that, that kind of um, preparation um, that, I'm, that I'm going to try to replicate every single week so that I can get in and out of the huddle and, and you know, get to work. How, know. how invaluable is this game experience for you? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, um, just any game experience is, is huge. You know, um, yeah, I think because, you know, it's kind of well documented, but, um, you know, I've, I only played really, you know, a year and three quarters of, of college football, and then, you know, played a year and a half of 
high school football. So every single game that I play is, is huge. You know, I'm gonna, I feel like I'm going to continue to grow and get better every single day. And that's what I'm most excited about is to see where, you know, how much I'm going to be able to grow and, and get better and, and build, it, build chemistry with the guys in the locker room. I think, you know, we have potential to do really good things. Have you been surprised with how quickly it seems you are getting better? Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> you know, in college I had class, so, you know, every single day I'm looking at film and, and watching myself, understanding how I need to get better. So I think just just all football all the time has really helped me out a lot um, and being able to, to, I think really the biggest thing for me is hearing from guys like Josh and Teddy, guys who have been there and done that in games um, and have had success. Um, just to hear what they're thinking, go to the sideline and um, they're always super calm on the sideline. They're never freaking out. So that's that's a good thing too, is just having those guys to lean on um, if you know I'm not necessarily sure of how to go about myself. Sam, I know the predetermined plan was for you to play the first half and Teddy to get the second, but given that you did have the pick at the end of the first half, would you have wanted to at least have an opportunity to kind of bounce back on with at least one more drive? I mean, sure. I mean, you don't. You never want to. <laughs> you never want to end a game on an interception, but. Um, the plan was to play me in the first half and play Teddy in the second. Um, so that's what I did, and you know I tried my best. But when you run, when you run a bootleg to the right, which you like to do a lot, and a guy like Ryan Kerrigan, who's a seasoned veteran, doesn't bite on it, what are you supposed to do when he's right in your face like that? <laughs> uh, for me, it's try to make a play, and you know if if what I do, you know if what I'm doing isn't working in terms of me trying to juke him or get him to jump with a pump fake. Then just get rid of the ball and you know live to see another down. So um, even if it's third down, you know being able to change the field position and that's something that the guys have been able to talk to me about is you know the NFL is more of a game of field position. So um, just being able to to understand that if it's third down and no one's there and a guy like Ryan Kerrigan's in my face to just get rid of it and you know let us punt and you know let them go all the way down the field and score. So or. You know, try to stop them, obviously, but you know, give them, um, I guess, the ball back and you know, put the ball in their court. So that's just kind of how I'm starting to think. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Good. Thanks. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.